Hetchy sketchy railroad. I you look at it, I don't have to explain it. That's how they turn this around. Oh wow! So it's built in Back underneath. It <coughs> it's water cool. It has to have air going through the radiator. So when you back it up, it will your heat. It's got to go proper. You get the end of the track, they turn it around. Does that thing still work? Yes. Cool. <coughs> they, know, they only run it once in a while because you got to put gas in, then you got to drain it out. You know. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, is gas no, powered? Yeah, 30 horsepower white truck motor was built in 1919 in Cleveland, Ohio. I'll back up and you can come in. And uh, it was used, the, this railroad in Yosemite Valley and, uh, and Hatch Hatchy. Hatch Hatchy is a lake out in Yosemite. In the park, where are you guys, where are you from? You're uh, from what, California? Oh, I'm from Oregon. Oregon, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, San Francisco got that down and they had to have to die. They mm -hmm. killed John Muir. Mm -hmm. He fought it till the day he died. Uh -huh. The dirty politics beat him. Mm -hmm. And they got their dam in the park. The Hatchetti Valley is every day as pretty as Yosemite Valley, but it's in the 400 mm -hmm. feet of water. This but, railroad and the Hatchetti Railroad built the dam. So oh. these trucks were built. There were six of them. That's the only one left. The other ones all got scrap. The, to build to service the railroad. This one was built in 1919 in Cleveland, Ohio. They went to Sacramento and got the body named Sacramento. Uh, and, and then uh, San Francisco and got all the running gear. It, uh, it was 050 on a flat track. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got an overdrive gear, but it don't go 50 up here, believe me. So, no. this one was mostly used, as you can see, as an ambulance. Right. But San Francisco did have the wherewithal to build a hospital near the dam. Otherwise, yeah. 85 miles around here to Sonora, and that mm. thing, some guys wouldn't have made it. 95 guys got hurt. There was no ocean or nothing. You know. So I, I see the small the front wheels are smaller than yeah, the rear. That's why that's because you got the speed in the back. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go to these little cars. Mm -hmm. Did you ever watch a TV show called Petticoat Jensen? No, no. Uh, it was in the sixties. I didn't think so. Been a while. <laughs> anyway, these two cars, we had them built in San Francisco by the Holman Company that built their cable car. We had them built in 1902 wow. because the grade from here to Angels Camp after you cross the river it was 800 foot climb. Those mm. Pullman were 60 times or 90 feet long. Wow. We had these two shorties, they call them shorty, 32 feet, wow. uh, lightweight, mostly all wood. This one male, baggage, and passengers in front. If you had money, you rode in the other one That's first class. Oh, well, the teeth of wood stove in the toilet, which the sign of the toilet is, don't move in much change in motion. Yeah. <laughs> don't use. Right. Pull on the anyway, floor. <laughs> if you watch Western movies, you've seen these two cars out on the hundred years. Hmm. There were lots of, lots of Western movies. Anyways, that one is still legally roadable. Oh wow. This one is not. They wore it out using the caboose after the mm. after they were done the mm. I'm giving a tour if you guys want to join in. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just got started. We're working our way that way. Yeah. Great. Yeah, we'll that little thing was built to service the railroad when they built San Francisco and moved out in the city. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Under 400 feet of water, it's a beautiful valley. Yeah. My granddad used to fish there before he built the dam. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyways, we'll keep going. Anybody remember Pedestal Thompson? Oh, yeah. Right here, he drove right here on that car. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Yes. This one, this one? This yeah, this very car. You watch the rerun, look for the number five. Number five? Yeah. It's been in lots and lots of movies. Okay. 
There, you want to see some heavy iron? This was a bull, boy, I'll tell you. You don't see many of these. They only built 3,700, and that's most of the narrow gauge ones. This was a Shea locomotive. They were invented in 1880 by a guy by the name of Ephraim Shea in Lima, Ohio. This is a gear-driven locomotive. It never pulled past gear because it only go 12 miles an hour. Hmm. But it can pull everything we got in this yard, including all the locomotives and then some. They were built for power. And this one can pull 30 loaded log cars up a 12% grade. Now these type of engines here, the regular rod engine, they slip at 4%. This one's all power. It was made to pull timber out of the woods and then they use them for heavy, heavy rock quarry work. This one, uh, the, most of them they built were a third this size and a third of the weight, and they were narrow gauge. This is a wide gauge. The smaller ones, the timber companies, we had two of them right here in Sonora, could run a spur line out of ridge stop, move those locomotives over, pull all the timber out, go to the next ridge stop and direct the trap to up of one and put it on the next one. So, but this is a wide gate. This one they didn't move around. It's 102 tons. This one spent its life in the Feather River. And now when they built the Orville Dam, the tracks went underwater and they gave it to the state. We use it to give rides, a little three and a half miles down and back. It burns 20 gallons of oil per mile. Mm. Per mile, <laughs> plus things, not miles, uh, gallon per mile, not, gallon, you know, miles per day. <laughs> anyway, and things started going wrong with it, so we parked it. It wouldn't take much to get it running. But, you know, we got two other steam engines that don't burn that kind of oil. But neither <laughs> one of them were running today. This one here? We bought brand new in 1925 from Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia. We ran this engine hard from the 20s up through the 70s, and then we sold it. Okay, 43 years, we sold it in 1980. 43 years, it hadn't moved an inch. The guy wouldn't donate it, he wouldn't sell it, he just left it here. He had some other ones, he took up to Oregon and just put him in a meadow. Two years ago, he died. And his estate resold it, and the gentleman who bought it gave it back to us. Mm. It's never, this was the only one that's never left our tracks in 98 years, and we didn't own it half that time. Anyway, now that we own it, I won't see it, the young guys will, and get all restored, like new. Mm. Well, that takes like a, a long time and a lot of money. But here's one right here. Now you guys can go up the cab and look around. Ooh, okay. I'll go first. Yeah. I'll be quick. <laughs> Nobody's taking the next train. You guys all be on the train, man.